In the focus of the program within the process is detailed process of production from the idea to final result under the brand Made in Kazakhstan. The program shows us an amazing world of projects, technologies and industrial developments. Left, 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 right, left. Imagine the distances these soldiers have to walk, troop reviews, parades and daily military trainings. That is why they need sturdy boots, durable and comfortable, so that it is not too hot in the summer, nor too cold in the winter. A whole plant is working on this. We decided to head over there and find out the details of the process of making footwear for the army. Hello, you're watching The Process, a program in which we tell you in detail about how it works. Today, the lenses of our cameras are focused on the process of making army boots. Exclusively natural materials are used for the making of the most popular type of military footwear, boots with a high bootleg. For summer footwear, chrome tan leather is used and for wintertime, fur-lined leather. The first stage of production at the plant is preparation of the materials. The necessary amount of materials is delivered to the batching technician, who makes a selection of the materials that will be used. This person checks the quality of the leather and measures the thickness of the material. The selected batch cannot contain non-standard materials because the amount of material is calculated exactly, without room for excesses. Following the received order, a design plan is compiled which states the model, size and quantity of boots that are required. Then the prepared and checked materials together with the design plan are sent to the cutting department of the plant. Imagine that for each batch of boots a separate set of templates has to be prepared. Here the station operator uses a welding machine to bend and shape the metal in order to create the thinnest elements of decor. Usually this is done at night so that by morning work can be started at the plant on the cutting and sewing of new boots. use of these chisels of the semi-automated press, the details of the boots are cut out. One department of the plant is fully dedicated to the making of the soles of the boots, the sole and the insole, the shaping elements made out of cardboard and thermoplastic material. Since these parts are tougher than leather, they undergo additional treatment. The edges are thinned out. Thus, they will be easier to work with and will not cause any discomfort for the person wearing the boots. The leather used for the soles is quite thick, that is why after cutting it, it is passed through a splitting machine. I've heard the word shank so many times, but had no idea what it actually looks like. This piece here is the shank. Without it, we would not be able to wear shoes since our feet are not flat. But this is not all. For greater comfort after the gluing of the shank, the sole is anatomically shaped using a press. In the other department of the plant, the top part of the boots is cut out. Using the prepared leather materials, the details of the top part are cut out with the aid of chisels. The templates here are much more complicated. They include the basic elements of the footwear, as well as decorative elements. Each person working here completes a specific task, all working simultaneously. Once the process is complete, the entire set of prepared details is sent to the billet shop. But before sewing the top parts of the boots, they have to be prepared. Because leather is quite a thick and tough material, the edges of the details that would be sewn together are made thinner so that there are no rough looking joint seams and to make the sewing process much easier. Then these edges are dyed to cover the thinner areas. After the markings have been applied for the sewing machine operators, duplicates of the template details are made with a lining. Also, preparatory work includes application of elements of decor and preliminary joining of some template details. For example, on the tongue with four-part region of the shoe. We 
уже успели увидеть. We've already seen so many operations that need to be done at this footwear plant. Still, all that I have in my hands are some strange pieces of leather. It means the most interesting part is about to start. Gradually, these pieces are being transformed into boots. The next stage of the boot manufacturing process is the sewing of the details. First the shin parts, the boot leg, are sewn together, and inside an additional leather belt is attached. It allows to strengthen the stitching and will prevent deformation of the shape of the boot during wear. Then the outer back belt is glued and stitched through. The inner flap with the marking is sewn onto the bootleg parts, lined and wrapped with an elastic polyurethylene foam part. After the tongue is attached to the bootleg and the four-part region, next, Holes are drilled for the laces and metal rings are inserted. Also, the adjoining regions of the boot are reinforced with metal riveting. This is done manually. The final stage is cleaning. All the details are treated with water-based shoe dye in order to cover the markings. Then the boots are sent in pairs to the shop where they are shaped. So many boots, hard not to mix them up. Before putting them on the conveyor belt, they are checked to make sure the pairs are not mixed up, because here they know for sure that only matching boots make a pair. Before the beginning of the next stage, the laces on the boots are tied so that they do not lose their shape. Then the shaping elements are attached to the heel and toe box. The glue is applied to the adjoining regions and the boots are placed on the conveyor belt. Insoles are attached to the shoe last in accordance with their size. Then gradually leather is tightly wrapped around the last, first the toe part and then the midsole. Then the toe box is shaped, a special roller tightens the edges of the last. And only then the heel part is tightened. Throughout all the stages of the tightening and fitting process, heating furnaces are set up that do not allow the glue to harden. Now the sole part needs to be polished so that the bottom of the boot can be fixated. After the polishing, a material lining is attached which fills the space between the leather and the insole. After the boot undergoes heat treatment and the soles are hammered to make sure that it does not lose shape, then the pairs are sent to the temperature regulated storage. The boots are almost ready, but why are they so heavy? This is because the wooden lasts are still inside. The boots have to cool off before they can be taken out. Otherwise, the footwear will lose its shape and marketable appearance. Once the wooden lasts are taken out, the quality control technician checks the pairs for compliance with parameters, symmetry, high and overall appearance. And only then are they sent to the next manufacturing stage, the molding shop. Here the molded soles of the boots are made, polyurethane is mixed with a dye warmed up to melting temperature and injected into the press form. The first layer is the outer, more tough part of the sole and the second is the shock absorbent layer, which makes the boots more comfortable to wear. The wooden last is turned over, ungreased and attached to the liquid polyurethane mass. Under the set temperature, the sole is firmly attached to the boot. All that is left is to cut out of the excess of the polyurethane and add finishing touches, cleaning and retouching. Laces are added to the boots and the insoles are inserted. After the check of the quality control department, the footwear is sent to the storage for finished products. That's it, the boots are ready. No weather is a challenge. Be it rain or blazing sun, real quality work. And what's more, only natural materials were used. Very comfortable.